What's up guys, welcome back. So today I took the time to take off the exhaust and clean it up, do all the little things. Uh, the reason why I'm not working on the G today is because I'm waiting for my starter. I'd rather wait for the starter before I put the transmission back on. Um, it's just a lot easier. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to work on the differential. Now this has a built differential and uh, I'm not sure if some of you know this, but there's a breather hose on the top of the cover. On top of the cover, there's a hose that comes out of a, a tube, a fitting, and it goes into a breather. Now that breather is located inside one of the frames on the subframe. <clears throat> Now, I just found this out recently. I was racing a Hellcat, and the guy, he told me that uh, my car was smoking, and he scared me, and I was like, oh, what the hell is that, you know? So I looked under there, and there was oil all over my exhaust, which is, which is this right here. It's all of this. Now, I didn't know where it was coming from, but obviously there's only one place where it could come from, and it's the differential. I didn't know why it was doing it. So I did some homework. I went on YouTube, and I figured it out. There's a guy that went through the same problem. He's a drifter. And then I watched his video, and it made perfectly good sense to me. So this is my differential. Uh, all the way at the top right here somewhere, there's a tube that runs into a breather that goes into here, into this arm right here. And when the oil on the differential heats up, uh, as you guys know, when he oil heats up, it expands. Uh, that's what the breather is for. So when it's hot and it's expanded, it needs somewhere to go if it doesn't have any more room. So what happened was um, I was racing this Hellcat. We went about 198 miles an hour. And the oil started coming out of the breather and into that the, the end part. And it leaked all over this frame part and onto the exhaust. Uh, this only happens when I go fast. doesn't happen when I'm driving normal. This also happened to me recently when I raced a Lamborghini Huracan. When I was looking back at him in the rear view mirror, there was a bunch of smoke. But I already knew what the problem was. So I wasn't too worried. I know to some of us out there that are into performance, all the enthusiasts, you don't want to see smoke in your rear view mirror because it could be a number of things. It could be your engine, your rings, whatever. Uh, it's just a scary sight to see. So, I already know what the problem was, and uh, yeah, like I said, this happened to me recently, and this is the part that, that got oily, like all of this got, it's all dirty right now, like you guys can see all this dirt right here, I'm trying to wipe off. So, I found a solution to this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that breather tube, it's a rubber hose, and I'm going to run it through here into this hole where the spare tire goes. Ah. Brother just got home. And I'm gonna run the hose through here. Right here. And it's gonna go into an oil catch can. I'm gonna mount it somewhere where the spare tire should go. Uh, this is gonna fix that problem because like I said, when the oil heats up and it doesn't know where to go, it's going to go through that breather tube and it's going to go onto my chassis, onto the frame. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redirect it into a longer tube, into the trunk, and into an oil catch can. So let's do this. All right, so I got the hose. I got five feet of hose just in case. I hope it's enough. And I got this fitting right here. This is a, a Dorman... 3.8 universal uh, steel adapter or fitting to put two hoses together. 
Uh, this is gonna work, but I have to check on the car. I kind of just eyeballed it. And then I have my oil catch can. This is what I used to use on the G. Uh, there's a lot of openings that I have to close, but I don't think I need to worry about it. I don't think it's going to be catching that much oil, to be honest. But I'll go ahead and close some of them and maybe just use one for the hose. Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's do this. All right, so I got the hose right here. So I had to cut it off the breather that goes that way somewhere over there and I put the adapter that I just bought with the new hose and now I'm just running it through the bottom over here and I'm gonna guide it all the way into that hole that hole that I was talking about um, I'm gonna show you where it starts hopefully see that it's right there that's the hole right there that fitting with the hose that's right on the top of the differential so I got the hose now I'm going to run it into the trunk and let's go get the oil catch can all right so I just ran the line and I tie strapped them to these certain spots right here you gotta love tie straps these things are a lifesaver like that one right there and then Got this one. Oh shit, though. There you go. And I got this one. Now, I just get the line and this here. Put it into this hole right here. Just like this, see? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that, see? Alright, so here's the hose. Uh, this is gonna have to be another day, guys. <laughs> I'm tired already. Uh, honestly, I don't think that oil is gonna travel that far. But I'm just gonna be on the safe side, safe side, and do it anyway. But if you guys can see how. It travels, it travels down here, and then it goes right there, it goes over here. So I it's like a roller coaster, it goes down and then up, and then it has to go up right here. So if oil does come out and reach this point, once it cools down, it's going to come back the other way. It's going to go back into the diff. So I think we're good.